Hey, this is Toby at Cuddle, and this morning I did a live stream about uh, Celtic knotwork uh, based on this cool paper that I found by Andrew Glasner about a way to generate these kinds of patterns. And we did this in code, and I got an email from a teacher who was asking, is there a way that we could do this that would be appropriate for fourth graders? And so I thought about this and I was thinking maybe we could make like a printable. And so I, I made this printable and I'll share a link in the description. And you can just go ahead and do download PDF and then print it. Um, you can also adjust like the size of these squares. So I made them 0 0.3 inches and that felt about right with a Sharpie, I thought, but Maybe for younger kids, it might be better to make it, um, you know, a little bit bigger, like maybe they're half inch apart, and then you can change the uh, size of this so that it's like, it'll fit on a, um, on an eight and a half by 11 or something. And you can change these, these colors also, um, if, if, um, if you want, uh, I'd, I'd pick these colors because they show up sort of light on a piece of paper when you print it, which I thought was good. So anyway, you go ahead and you uh, download PDF and print that out or print out a bunch of copies, and then I'll show you how I'm using it. Okay, so I have this printable, and the way I'm going to use it is... So in, in the paper, he talks about having these um, break lines. And you can have a break line between either the secondary dots, meaning these lighter ones, or the primary ones, meaning these darker ones. And um, so I'm just going to draw like a pattern. And I'm going to have some break lines this, draw some more, and they generally look better when they're like symmetric, but you can draw whatever you want, and then the whole thing should be surrounded by um, primary break lines. So I drew that with a normal pen, and then I'm going to get a Sharpie. Um, it might be cool to put like tracing paper on here so that you have your design that, without all this stuff behind it afterwards, and you can like redo it because you'll probably make mistakes. I've been making mistakes. Um, and it's the idea is to trace it. I'm not exactly sure like what the the rules are, but I think I've sort of figured it out. So I'm just going to start somewhere and just start drawing in, tracing along these lines. And then the idea is that like here, you never want to go into a break line. So it's going to sort of go up like this. And then here's a corner and it's going to go, it's going to, it looks good with these like sharp corners. And then it's going to go like this. And now here, we're able to like continue along the pattern. So I'm just going to draw that and then continuing along until I get to another break line. And then that forces me to come down and then come around here. And then I'm back. And then this has actually gone in one band. And then I'm just going to keep sort of doing that, tracing these things. So here it's approaching a break line, so it's come around. There's a corner there. Come around this way, up that way. This is going to come here. I think it's going to go around like that. And then it'll come around like this. And then come around like that. So it's approaching a break line, so I need to go down here and then come back like that. So that's another band. It would be cool to do these in different colors, like each band is a different color. Um, and then I'm just going to 
keep trying this. So I'm going to go that way. This forces me to come down here. Then I've got a corner. And then I'm going to come up this way. Come up here. Come up here around this corner. And then down that way. That's another band. And let's keep trying that. Okay, so I'm approaching a break line, so I have to come around this way and then here. Up here, there's a corner. And come around here, around down the side. There's another one. Come around here, corner. And then this connects there. And I think I've got it. So I've traced the whole thing. Um, so like I said, if you had this on tracing paper, then you'd be able to pull it off and do whatever. I'm pretty sure that the monks who were originally making these designs had essentially tracing paper. I think they had like vellum or something. Um, and so there'd be some system about going about making these things. Um, and I'll just show like these were some trials earlier. I did this one. I did this one. You can tell I made a mistake here. So you'll probably make mistakes the first couple times you do it. Um, it would be cool to try to formalize, like, what are the rules? Like, I think I've figured it out, but I, it would be good to formalize it. And like, what are the actual rules for when you're supposed to, um, you know, turn and like when you're allowed to go over here? Um, it's an exploration, but maybe that's enough to get started. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.